And we are back. Welcome to the final episode of Twilight Princess. I guess we'll just get started. Head over to Hyrule Castle and, uh, yep, finish the game. It's been a long time since we started this game. An extremely long time. Uh, several months. Things getting in my way. Unable to complete the game uh, as quickly as I otherwise would have liked to. But we're finally here. Completing the game at long last, and then I can move on to doing all sorts of other things that I wanted to do, um, and not have this, uh, not have this game to worry about finishing. <laughs> not that I think the game is hold was holding me back or anything. From, uh, doing what I want to do, but, uh... But yeah, it'll be nice to not have to t think about it all the time, I guess. Leave me now alone! right there. Well, it was just a jingle, really. Here we go. Going in. <sighs> Hyrule Castle. Well, here we are, the final, final stretch of the game, the final dungeon. Hyrule Castle, the true final dungeon. Uh, I don't really know, uh, exactly which way to go first. I guess I'll go this way first, though. This place got no music. It's a little sad. Die. Uh, yeah, this is... Pretty cool. A lot of, um, I feel like a lot of games around this time always had like a, a castle-y segment like this. You know, the giant castle, all the stone walls, all the, you know, I'm sure there'll be like goblins or mochablins or whatever these little guys are shooting, um, shooting arrows at me later. Do a quick spin, Link. I'm really trying here. Whatever. Quick spin, please! I, I guess I, he doesn't need it. <sighs> die. Just die already. Like, uh, Resident Evil 4 has a section that looks a little bit like this. And there's, like, the courtyard where, uh, you know, he, 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 there's all the dogs. I wonder if there will be any dogs here. The evil dogs. Ugh. <sighs> Oh my god, there he is! The final, final showdown with this guy. I've come to play. Yeah, get on. Weren't ready for the helm splitter, were you? Whoa. Whoa. 
What? Um, ow. Got him. Oh shit. <laughs> Smirks. Enough. Hooray. Wow, he's badass. I follow the strongest side. That is all I've ever known. Thank you, best friend. Link. He... He spoke. So true. Why? <laughs> What's the point? At this, at this stage of the game, what the hell's the point? Bonk. Alright, well, uh, west side cleared out. I guess we'll go to the east side now. Uh. Did not want to use the ball and chain. <laughs> well, it worked out anyway. Okay, you don't. Whoa. Oh no! Yeah, get owned. Die. Die. Yeah, get owned. Uh, okay, nothing this way. <laughs> Don't know why I even went that way. What? Oh, here we go. Um, ow. Come on, get up now. God d damn it. God. There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just wanted to get off. Uh, okay, puzzle time. Triforce puzzle time. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this in a specific order or something. Probably. Well, that sure didn't do anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, up. Okay, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a Z, like a lightning bolt. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, which way does it go first? Goes to the right, okay. Wait, does it go? I think it just goes to the middle from here. Okay, we did it. Oh, does it not? It doesn't even go to the left. It just ends at the middle. Okay. Hooray! Was that all I came over here for? The map? All right. All righty then. If you say so. Can I get some music once I actually go inside the building? That would be... That would be peachy, I think. Might have been a chest over there that I didn't get, but oh well. I mean, as much as I, I like the atmosphere of the rain and the nothing, I'd like some cool music, too. You know what I mean? You know, like... You know what I mean? 
This is good too. place looks cool. I hope the whole dungeon isn't just walk in a room, fight some enemies, get a key, go to the next room. Um, I have a feeling that might be exactly it though. And maybe do a couple puzzles here and there. <laughs> Compass. Yeah, I didn't miss a chest out there. Oh well. I'm sure it was just rupees anyway. Boy oh boy, I do love me the double claw shot, I tell ya. I don't really care about getting any of these chests because I know none of them are heart pieces. Um... Oh shit. In my ass. What the hell? Again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, ow. Stop it. Oh, where are you going with that one, Link? What? Get him, get him. We got him. Bam. I mean, I don't mind fighting Dark Nuts. It's, I, it's fun fighting them. So, uh, you know, if, uh, if you're gonna make me just fight a bunch of enemies, at least, uh, at least make it the Dark Nut, is what I say. Um, what? What? Lamp oil. Uh. Uh. I'm not wasting a bottle. I'll be perfectly clear on that. But how do I get all the way up there? Mm. What? Can I just jump for it, maybe? <laughs> no. What am I missing here? Maybe I need to make a flame go out? Yes. But I did it too early. <laughs> did it standing in the wrong spot? What? I don't even need to fill this shit up. I can just do this. The hell? Unless it wouldn't have gone all the way up without the other torches. I have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. There's a purple rupee! What the fuck? Not, a, not even a key or anything. What the hell? Watch out! Zolfos with skulls on their heads. What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> they weren't so scary. Um, excuse me. Nice paintings. Cool sword. Why is, the, why is the door blocked? Whatever. Guess I'm not going this way. Hmm. Leave me alone. Damn you. Lasts like no time at all. This one's lasting a very long time. What? That one doesn't <laughs> last at all. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Okay, well, we, we did it. Wasted a lot of my oil, I'll tell you that much. Better not be any more damn fire puzzles in here. Um, watch out! Wait, can I break their armor with the ball and chain? You don't? I mean, not really, but... How do you like that? What? Get owned. Go this way. Uh... Don't really have anything to talk about. You know what is pretty, um, pretty sad? Um, I don't know if sad's the right term to use here, but, uh... You know, it's pretty crazy. Um... I bitched and moaned about, uh, World of Warcraft for, um, a good chunk of that Ocarina of Time video that I did. But, um, but truth be told, um, they brought out this, this thing in World of Warcraft called, um, Season of Discovery, right? And, um, I think it's pretty neat, to be honest. I think Classic WoW is probably... The only, um, good version of WoW left anymore. Um, I, I certainly don't want to play retail WoW. Which, by the way, got, got, a, got an incredible, incredible new microtransaction you can buy for $60. You can, um, buy a raid-ready level 70 boosted character for Dragonfly. Hooray! In case you wanted to, you know, um, skip the entire point of playing an MMO, um, entirely, and just cut right, just cut right to the, uh, cut right to the chase, just, um... Oh my god. What? <gasps> <laughs> no way. They're all here to help. See, they did something. I could have obviously handled that myself, but they did something. Thank you, goodbye. Sixty dollars, I mean, what the hell? And you have delusional, delusional people, um, just spouting off nonsense like, oh, it's not a big deal. In fact, it's actually a good thing because, uh, you know, a lot of people, they just want to, they just want to raid with their friends, you know? They, they don't want to have to, you know, actually play the game. Uh, you know, they just want to raid with their friends. Um, up to, uh, uh, raid ready gear for the current tier two. Like what the hell? Why, why am I slow? There's invisible shit on me, isn't there? God damn it! Dead people. Whoops. They're pointing the- they're pointing me in the right direction, I think. Careful now. Okay, we made it. All right, the, the the classic tower tower ascent. That's um, in case you were were, were under the uh, the assumption that this wasn't actually you know um, a sequel to um, Ocarina of Time and extremely inspired by it too. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, obviously, since Ocarina of Time is the greatest game ever made, basically. 
Wow, this song is awesome. Yeah, get owned, huh? Wow, this dungeon has more variety than Palace of Twilight <laughs> just from that one staircase. Oh snap, big dark night in the house. or whatever into Helm Splitter. But um if it works, it works, you know. And I don't even need to do the Helm Splitter here. I just gotta roll. And then attack. Yeah, get owned. How do you like that? Um it's a million chests in there. I don't even have a small key to get him though. Uh, but yeah, it does pain me to say it, but um, I have been playing a little bit of the season of Discovery on WoW. Um, don't tell anyone though. Don't tell anyone. It, it is fun though, it is fun though. I think it's cool. And uh, you know, they uh, the, the, the level 25 being the maximum that you can get to right now, I think really helps it because yeah, you, it's not a huge time investment to get to that level, and you, you, you know, it's not a huge time investment to get geared up and raid ready or anything. So you can try out a lot of characters, and I think that's pretty good. Oh my god. But anyway, here we are, the final boss. Time to confront Ganondorf. Zelda, no! Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. Watch out, he's awesome. I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Minna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. Pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha, such conceit. 
But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well, deny me then. Yes, try to not <laughs> try to deny me, you and your little friend. Red, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Both of you faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the keen of light and shadow. So you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath. Oh, shit. And it's Puppet Zelda! Here we go, time to play tennis! Yeah, how do you like that, huh? Maybe I need to shoot you with an arrow. I hit record, it would be really, really sad if I hadn't. Okay, I did. <laughs> oh, shit! What the hell? <laughs> Okay, I guess I don't do anything. Yeah, get out. Oh shit!
Dark Beast Ganon. some point you need to turn into wolf link um that's when he starts you know jumping over your arrow oh shit he jumped over it Ouch. Eh, 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 get up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ow. Get on Ganon. Nasty little thing. Zelda alive again. P princess I I say nothing, Minna. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Shit.
arrow field. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, that, <laughs> that goes kind of hard. No, he killed me that. <laughs> Damn you, Ganondorf. Damn you and your ghostly soldiers. Spirits of the light, wielders of the great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. hero lend us the last of your power and yeah, no problem Zelda the <laughs> Pona was here too somehow I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. Ganondorf, you little bitch! What the fuck? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Come on now with those guys. Hey, can you uh, shoot your arrows, Zelda? Shit, this guy says this guy's good. You're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool though <laughs> He laughing <laughs> An impressive looking blade but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? To take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever. Dark Lord Ganondorf. Jenny can use the fishing rod to like distract him. It's really funny. <laughs> Come 
my god. can't absorb, you can't be falling for this right now. <laughs> this is this is just this is just too much Ganondorf. What the hell, man? Good job, Link. Can I get a, get a heart, please? I mean, this fight looks so cool visually, but it's really funny. You can just use the uh, fishing rod to distract him, and then you can hit him for free. <laughs> He's dead. Good old, good old fishing rod, eh? <laughs> Zelda looks so happy. Yeah, get on Ganondorf. Defeated by the fishing rod. How's it feel? Do not think this ends here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. Rip Bozo. Here. No, he's dead. <laughs> Frozen solid, though. Wasn't dead, obviously. Go back. 
Hamana, Hamana. But which Minna was the sexy one? Vote now with your right right in ballot in the comments. Who is the sexiest Minna? What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? So true. There it is, Twilight Princess is complete. Pretty damn good Zelda game, I'm gonna be honest. You know, it has its 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 haters, of course. As as any game ever. Wow, even the credits are like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, well, anyway. Yep. Definitely heavily inspired by Ocarina of Time. You can see that in a lot of places. Um, I would say a little less consistent than Ocarina of Time, though. Ocarina of Time is like a game that's great at being consistently good from start to finish. Um, and never really falls off. Like, the only point it ever falls off a little bit is like Jabu Jabu's Belly and Water Temple. Um, but those dungeons still aren't that bad. And Jabu Jabu you can do in like 10 minutes if you do some glitches. Um, but that's besides the point, maybe. That guy, he's awesome! This game, I think it's what it's really good at is like... Um... Super cool, like, fight set pieces. Like, the bosses were good, the mini bosses were good. Fighting that... that... Bacoblin boss in the, uh, field was awesome, and on the bridge. Uh, the Ganondorf fight was great. Um... And this game also has really great dungeons, except, like, Palace of Twilight. Hyrule Castle was a kind of whatever, too. I mean, it was alright. Nothing, nothing horrible with it, but... But yeah, I think this is definitely up there as one of the better Zelda games. It's a lot more story-focused than Ocarina of Time was. Um... Which I think is... It may be a good thing. Uh, if you really, if you really like stories. I mean, you're not gonna be blown away by the story, I'll be honest with you, but... If you like stories, then, you know, they, there you go. If you like stories in your Zelda games. Uh, I, I don't really mind either way. Um, for me, D Zelda is always about, um... Wow. That nasty, nasty town doing the Mallow Mart dance. Um, the Zelda games have always mostly, for me, been about, um... You know, the dungeons. And, uh, and that's pretty much it for, for me, <laughs> honestly. Um, it's all about the dungeons and the bosses and the cool items. Um, that's what has always driven me. I do like the music as well, although Zelda, Zelda doesn't have, I don't, I don't think it has the best music in all of gaming history. It has some amazing songs, don't get me wrong here, but, uh, and some iconic songs. But, um, but like soundtrack wise, it's always been good, but you know, you're not gonna be shitting your pants listening to it like you would with like the Xenoblade soundtrack. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest. What I'm trying to say is, this game did what I like in Zelda games, and that was dungeons. It did them really well, so I can't give it any lower than an A tier. The only reason I don't really think this is like an S-tier Zelda game is because... ...getting to those dungeons can be a bit slow, and maybe a little boring. Like, there's a lot of time spent doing stuff besides the dungeons that just isn't as good. Like, in the first half, you're doing all the, uh... ...you know, the, uh... 
Well, I, I don't even remember what it's called. You can, the Tears of Light. You're collecting the Tears of Light, right? Um, that's what it was. I was getting a mix up of the Silent Realm from Skyward Sword. But, um, like, like that was, like, not great. Wow, they love each other in there. They're, they're baning in there right now, actually. Um, that's what that heart was for. Um... But yeah, what was I saying? I don't even remember. But yeah, you, you spend a lot of time doing stuff you don't really want to do. Like, to get to... Arbiter's Grounds, you go through the Gerudo Desert, like... Like, that wasn't that bad, but you also had to, like, do the cannon. It, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad. Um... Snow Peak, you have to, you know... Uh, go to the mountain, then you have to go do a- get a fish? You have to go get a fish? Like, what the hell? And then you, um, and then you can go up to Snow Peak, and then you run around Snow Peak, and then you do snowboarding. Um, and then you fall off at the very end, and you have to redo it again. <laughs> um, to get to City in the Sky, you have to go around the whole world with those stupid statues. God damn it. But yeah, that stuff wasn't, like, terrible. It just wasn't as good as actually doing the dungeons themselves, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Either way, I think this is like a high 8, probably just a 9 out of 10 game overall. Um, I enjoyed playing it a lot. I didn't do the Cave of Ordeals, and you know what? I think, I think, I, I think I'm okay with that, to be honest with you. Um, you know what I mean? But yeah. Good game. Very good game. Maybe nine's too high. Maybe nine's too high, I don't know. But... That's, that's what I'm thinking, anyway. Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and Shadow can't mix, as we all know. But... Never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know now the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind, and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do all right. She do be kind of sexy, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror's around, we could meet again. Link. That's <laughs> a beautiful teardrop. What? <laughs> I... See you later. She loves him! She loves him! Mendo, why are you breaking the mirror? <laughs> no! No, Mendo, come back! <laughs> Damn.
Damn it, Midna. Why'd you leave? Forever. Oh well. Bittersweet ending. Um... But you know, is what it is, I guess. Midna, why? Come back, you're a better character than Zelda. Come back, goddammit, let me go with you. <laughs> Super Mario Club. And then you're just gonna drop a sad sounding song on me like that, huh? Man, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I guess 9 out of 10 is a fitting score for this game. Uh, damn. Damn, they really drop that on you and then leave you hanging in here with this song. Well, uh, that was Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> that was Twilight Princess, I mean. That was Twilight Princess. Um, I wonder... Well, I mean, hmm. I wonder if the idea for Hilda came from Midna. Because in Link to the Past, they had the Dark World. And in this one, I guess they decided that they would do that kind of idea again but they would actually make a character come from the dark world, so to speak, in quotes. Uh, the, um, the Twilight Realm is like the dark world, um, and people liked Minna, so maybe they thought, you know, when they were making Link Between Worlds, maybe they thought, yeah, we should do that whole, that whole Minna thing again. Let's make a goth Zelda. Let's also make her better than Zelda, again. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm glad, cause uh, cause it's always it's always nice to see a good character. <sighs> no, not the not the goat hurting. Don't wake me up to hold your girts. What did I just say? <laughs> to hurt your goats. <laughs> Oh, Link's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. I can't live here anymore. I gotta go on the adventure. Iwata. Rest in peace, Iwata. End. Well, that was it. That's... Then, then I'm stuck here forever? Question mark? <laughs> I, I, I guess I really am stuck here forever. Well, that was the end. Yeah, 9 out of 10 game. Um, dungeon's good. Here's a dungeon tier list I'll put it on screen right now. Character's pretty good. Here's a character um, tier list I'll put it on screen now. Honestly, I think this game is better than Wind Waker. Um... I don't know if that's sacrilegious or not, but after playing it, I think it might just be better than Wind Waker, like objectively. In my subjective heart, though, I might like Wind Waker a little more because I'm more nostalgic for it and uh, it has Toon Link. Oh, I guess I'm not stuck on that screen forever. Well, yep, there was Twilight Princess. It's a great game. I'm glad I played it at last fully all the way through. Got all the heart pieces, too. That was nice. Yep. Thank you for watching Twilight Princess. I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me. I'm sorry it took so damn long, but you know, better late than never is what I always say. And you know, Link, you're riding real close to the edge there. That's, that's making me a little anxious. But yeah, great game. Definitely some flaws, uh, some pacing issues uh, here and there. Tears of Light, for example. And then, you know, 
uh, you know, a little bit of padding here and there, but nothing too crazy. And, you know, I think it was enjoyable all the way through most for, mo for the most part. Thank you for watching. It was long. I'll tell you that much. It was long. This was a long game. 21 videos. My, I think my like phantom hourglass and spear tracks are like half as long as as this was i think my majora's mask was half as long as this but uh wow what is this crusty ass video here <laughs> but yeah anyway that was twilight princess thank you for watching uh next up for zelda i'll probably just do some randomizers i'll probably try to do a twilight princess randomizer soon i don't know if i'll do it this year might have to wait to next year because i'm gonna be working on a script for my end of the year video where i you know talk about all the games uh, i'm gonna kind of present it in a fun way like a like it's a its own award show um but it's only gonna have nominees of game. The nominees are only gonna be games that I've played, obviously. So, if you haven't, if I haven't played your favorite game this year, then it, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be on, mentioned in there. And so I'm sorry for that. But um, I still think it's gonna be a fun video. I have lots of fun little neat ideas for it. Um, I think it's gonna be enjoyable, entertaining, yada yada. Hope you look forward for, to that. Next year, we'll be doing more Zelda, more randomizers. Um, I don't know which Zelda game I want to play next. Maybe like Link's Awakening or an Oracle game or something of that sort. Um, and then I'm going to start playing some other games too, not just Zelda. So I hope you look forward to that too. I don't want to just... Play Zelda forever. I mean, there's only so many Zelda games, and I can only play randomizer so many times before I go crazy. Um, so I do want to play some other games. Hope you enjoy that whenever that comes. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Nice crust at the end there. Anyway, goodbye.